In this tutorial, we'll look at Microsoft Project 2007 and making a few more refinements to our project in setting up actually what our work schedule will be, what days we're going to work on. So if we go up here to the menu, to Tools, Change Working Time, Let's see when that menu opens up, here we go, Change Working Time. It brings up a calendar for us, and the grade work, grade days are non-working days. Now we can change those to working days if we want, but in this case it, that looks reasonable. But what we also want to do is we want to recognize that there's some holidays in here. So like uh, May 30th here would be Memorial Day, so we're going to set up a, a holiday called Memorial Day. Uh, let's say Memorial Day 2011, and that will actually occur on not May 3rd, but May 30th. So now that's set up, and it's grayed when I move out of it. Let's set up a couple other holidays. Let's see if there would be uh, Labor Day 2011, and Labor Day occurs for us in September. First Monday in September would be the, uh, September 5th. There we go. And let's go also out to October, no, November. Let's hit, let's put Thanksgiving in here. Thanksgiving 2011. And that will occur. It'll start on, let's say, Thursday the 24th. Just select it down here. And it'll extend into the 25th, so we'll take both days this time. And we're all set on that. And let's also go and uh, so that'll straighten out our years, take care of Christmas and uh, New Year's at the same time. Now, December, uh, Christmas hits on a weekend this year. But um, let's say our company's particularly generous and we'll give the uh, Monday holiday with it. So we'll put in Christmas 2011 and we'll, we'll uh, let them have off on the 26th of December. And then let's take a quick look at how, uh, of course, New Year's Day is going to be on a Sunday, but let's give them Monday anyway to recover. New Year's 2011, I guess we call that 2012, and we're going to give them off on Monday the 2nd. Now as those days then turn gray on, on our calendar, oops, sorry, I gave them the whole month off, don't want to do that. Set that to only be the 2nd, there we go. That's better. Now the second is grayed out, so now our calendar will actually be extended, so our due date, if we were planning on working across that time, those are non-working days, so the completion date of our project will change based on all that. But we want to be as realistic as we can in our plan, if we know we're not going to be working certain holidays or certain, uh, or certain events, then we should go ahead and block those out of our schedule and not expect that we're going to be completing that work. If, however, you are going to work Saturdays or Sundays or specific crews or resources will work weekends, then we can also set that up as well with special calendars.